The National Day of the Horse is a special time when we can reflect on all the special horses that have touched our lives. For me, I have been around so many different horses and helped just thousands. It's hard for me to pick a particular special horse. So I'm gonna tell you about my first horse. Um, she was a beautiful Mustang that was rounded up on government land and taken to a BLM holding facility where I adopted her when I was 10 years old. Um, I grew up with ponies and horses um, and I had a pony at the time, but I didn't have my very own horse. And um, she ended up being like 14 one hand, so technically she was still a pony, but she was a horse to me. And um, so when we adopted her from the BLM, she was extremely wild and scared. and. Um, I just spent a lot of time with her and she was she was my very very best friend for so many years and I was blessed to have her in my life and she she taught me so many different things and um, you know being a wild Mustang she had to survive out on the plains with wild animals and, and predators you know and ultimately being rounded up with a helicopter and put in a BLM holding facility but she overcame all of those things and uh, she was just a very very special horse to me um, and i know i said i was only going to share one but when you've had this many experiences with horses um, i think i have to share another one but um, so donna was the mustang and she was a very special horse to me and then the horse that created this whole organization um, her name was skip and I, I, she was the first horse I actually went to an auction and rescued. And I totally was planning on keeping her. But the more I thought about the situation that she was in before I saved her out of the slaughter pipeline, the more it inspired me to find a really good home for her and go back to the auction and rescue more horses just like her and give them a chance. And if I hadn't have gone to the auction that day and I hadn't have rescued Skip, you know, like almost 20 years ago, I don't think this organization would be here. So she's a major inspiration for what we do here. And it's going to auctions and rescuing horses and giving them a bright future. And I'm just so grateful for all of our supporters who allow us to help horses. Each, each horse we help is wonderful. Each horse has its own story and we do the best to tell those stories for all these different horses. But I'm gonna turn you over to Jenna and Corey because they have some awesome horse stories too. But um, horses do leave a sense of who they were with you. Um, when you meet them, you hug them. There's something about a horse that is just, just amazing. They're huge creatures that learn to trust humans and we see a lot of betrayal, and that's really hard for horses that have, have been totally neglected and abused, but they come back and want to trust you again, and they're just amazing animals. But I could talk about horses all day long, but I know Jenna and Corey also have stories for you as well. So um, just remember horses. It's, it's the National Day of the Horse, and um, we want to remember the horses, and, and also all the horses that, you know, never, do end up being rescued. They never get to a safe place. It just, it, it hurts my heart. Every USDA report that I see daily and weekly where horses are exported to slaughter, it just, it's heartbreaking. Because I know each and every horse on that report was just as precious as the ones you see in our episodes when we're at auctions rescuing horses. But like I said, turning it over to Corey and Jenna, and um, thank you so much for your support. So throughout my life, there have been a lot of horses that have meant quite a bit to me. Um, two that I really recall are Snow that was rescued here at Horse Plus and also a horse I adopted here named Pepper. Um, he's a retired Border Patrol horse, so I thought that was really cool when they first came in. And I hopped on him the first time. He didn't really seem like he knew too much at first, and then the second time I hopped on him, he was like a whole different horse. I asked him to do things and he was right on it and I asked him to stop. He tucked his butt and slid about three or four feet. And I was like, okay, I'm taking you home. So that was a really cool one for me. And then 
Uh, obviously Snow, a lot of you guys do know about Snow's story. And I started working with her and sure enough, about two months down the road, she started coming around. She wasn't trying to run me over anymore at least. And I was able to get quite a bit done with her and she eventually came around to everybody else here. So that was, that was a really cool one, just a personal experience training wise to be able to see the change and the difference you can make when you actually put the work in. Um, so I have had a lot of horses touch my life this year. Um, some are the ones that have touched my life the most have come home with us. So the first one would be Tally, who used to be Joy. Um, she was here at the shelter for over 400 days. And when I started here, I decided I wanted a project. And so she came home with us. The day she came home with us, she tried to kill my husband. It went really well. It was love at first sight. I was there for that. Yep. <laughs> um, and here we are at the end of the year. Um, she is phenomenal. Our son rides her. She is spending her days working um, on a cattle ranch, working cattle every day and not having a single issue in the world. So that for her, it was pretty cool to see. She was so shut down and so scared. And we were also told that, um, not from anyone here, but elsewhere, that she would never amount to anything, that she was just going to get somebody killed one day because of her fear. Um, and now she's amazing.